Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at subnetting. So if you don't know the sort of very basics of IP addresses, this probably isn't for you and you want to check out a different video. Um, for those of you that kind of know a little bit about IP addressing and just need to know a subnet, then this is what we're going to cover. And the reason you'll need a subnet, let's say you've got um, a network like this 192.168.1.0 got here. And maybe you actually need to use that one range for, you know, five different VLANs, so five different logical networks. You would need to subnet this down so that each one would have its own separate subnet mask and would technically be a separate network. Okay. So what I'm going to do for this video for these, we're going to refer to each of these octets as W, X, Y, and Z. So the Z octet's this last one. Okay. And we're going to say that we've been given this 192.168.1.0 slash 24, which we know means that it's going to be 8, 16, 24 bits have been used for the network address. So that's a 255, 255, 2550 subnet mask. So we've only got the last octet, the Z octet to play with. And we've been asked to divide it up into eight networks. All right. So one of the easiest ways to sort of go about this then is to just quickly draw out the sort of placeholders for the binary of that last octet. Okay, so you keep doubling until you get to 128. And the easiest way to do this when you're dealing with a set amount of networks, not based off the host, this is going to be eight evenly sized networks. You just want to put a marker underneath a number on this row that is equal to or greater than eight. So you want to always go for the first one you come across. So the first number that is equal to or greater than is eight. So just put a little line under it. And then you just count how many bits are to the right of that number. So one, two, three. And what that does is tells you how many bits you actually need to borrow from the left to add to the network portion to divide this into eight networks. So what we'll do is we'll actually rub out the little marker we've just put on. Okay, so we know it's three bits we need to borrow. So if we borrow one, two, three, which means we draw our little line to divide our horse and our networks here. Right. So what we've done there then is basically dedicated these three bits to the network portion. Okay. And these last bits, the five bits to the host. So that's all that's left to use for hosts. And what we've done by putting this slash here is we know that the first number to the left of this slash is actually the number we increment our networks by. So we know our first network is still going to be 192.168.1.0. The next network is going to be 192.168.1.32. And then so on and so forth. So we're just going to keep adding 32 to these numbers. So then we get 64, 96, 128, 160, 192, 224. Now as the next number is actually 256, we now know that that's past this octet, because it can only go up to 255. So let's put a little line through that. And if we count these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's the start of our eight networks. And basically, all you need to do then is work out what your broadcast is, which is always the no one number off the last network. So the broadcast of this first network is 31. For the second one is 63. For the third one is 95. Fourth, one, two, seven. 159, 191, 223, and then 255. So straight away with a great bit of ease, you've worked out the network, the network for all eight, the network ID, and you've worked out the broadcast address, and then obviously your host are just the numbers in between, so 1 to 30, 33 to 62, and I'm not going to draw them all out, but you get the picture. So that was it, took a few seconds. With that little trick you just done there where you find the number that's equal to or greater than. Count the bits, which tells you how far to go from the left. And once you've got this number here, you know what to increment by. Okay, so what we can also do is if you minus 2 off this number, you'll get 30. Okay, you always minus 2 because one address is going to be for your ID and one's going to be for your broadcast. And when you minus those two off, that tells you how many hosts you've actually got left. So all of these networks will have 30 hosts. Okay, so now we need to change our slash 24 because no longer are we only using the first three octets, which is 8, 16, 24. We're also using extra three bits. So all you do is 24 plus these three bits. We now know that our networks are all slash 27. Okay, 
And our subnet mask then, if it's a slash 27, we know that 255.255.255 is still the same. But if we add up these three numbers here, we'll get 224, and that is a subnet mask for all of these networks. Okay? So relatively easy technique, relatively straightforward. What you need to remember is, this is when all of your networks are even sizes. So this is fixed length subnet masks that are all going to be 30 hosts, and they're always going to go up in 32s. We'll do it again, just to help nail this down. But this time, we're going to do it in the Y octet, instead of the Z octet, just so you can see that it's very, very similar. You just end up with a different amount of hosts. Okay, so this time we've got 172.16.0.0. We've got a slash 16, so we know we've actually got the last two octets to play with. Again, we want eight networks, but this time we're working in the Y octet. Okay, so these are all in the Y octet. So again, what you need to do, let's say this number is eight, which it is. Okay, so what you need to do is because this number is eight, we need eight networks. We need to go to the first number going from right to left that is either equal to or greater than. First number that's equal to is eight. So we'll just draw a little line under it so we don't lose it. You count how many bits are to the right of that number. One, two, three. So now you know how many bits to borrow. Okay, so let's borrow those bits. One, two, three. Draw our magic line that divides the network from the host. Okay, so what we'll do first, we'll actually count, uh, we'll calculate our CIDR, our class is in the main routing number. And that is 16, 17, 18, 19. Because we borrowed five, uh, three bits, so we know all of our addresses are slash 19 which means we also know that our subnet mask is going to be 255.255. These three numbers added up, which is 224.0, which tells us that all of the last octet, the Z octet, is definitely going to be belong to, belonging to hosts, and only some of the Y octet will belong to hosts. Some of it's been borrowed for network. All right, so the same technique as before. We know we're going up in 32, so 172.16. Dot zero dot zero. Our first network is always going to be that for this one. Then one seven two. Oops. Dot sixteen. Dot thirty two. Dot zero. Then obviously sixty four. Dot zero. Ninety six. Dot zero. One two eight. Dot zero. All right. One sixty. Dot zero. One nine two. Dot zero. And two two four. Dot zero. So they're all our networks. So the only slightly more Complex part of this is our broadcast will be a little bit harder. Well, not so much, but... Okay, so the only bit about this is a little bit different is our broadcast. It's still just one number less, but don't forget about this octet here at the end. So the broadcast for this first address would be 172.16.31. So that one minus one. And then don't forget about this. So dot .255, okay? Because if you were to add one to this 255, you would tick over as this number here. Okay, and then our hosts will be 0 0.1 all the way through to 31.254. Okay, so I'm not going to write that out for all of these, but it's pretty much the same. So I'll just do this in the second one down then. So we know that the broadcast is going to be one less than this, which is 63.255. Okay, and then we know that the, the host, the usable host, will be 32.1 right through to 63.254. Right, so hopefully that makes some sense. It is a fairly easy technique once you've got your head around just sort of remembering how many bits to take. One part also is different because we're working in the Y octet. Obviously, if you minus two from this number here and get 30, there's well more than 30 hosts in here. What you need to do, and I'll just, um, let's add another page. So we know our Z octet, would keep doubling, so one, two, all the way up to one, two, eight. Then we'd go into our Y octet. So let's just keep doubling. So you'd end up with two, five, six, five, twelve. So this is your one, your two, your four, eight, sixteen. We were only going up to thirty two, so ten, twenty four, oops, twenty forty eight, four oh nine, six, then eight, one, nine, two. So this is the number we minus two off. So we know that 8190 is how many hosts we will have in all of these networks. All right, so we'll have eight networks and they'll have 8,000 odd hosts each. That is fixed length subnet masks. It's quite easy to get your head around. Just keep giving yourself an IP address and an amount of networks to divide it by and go for it. 
One thing to remember, it's always a number that's equal to or greater than. So if I needed 72 networks, the number I would have to use, the first number I come across that is equal or greater to is 128. It does mean that when you start dividing this up, you will have a lot more than 72 uh, networks, but you will get the 72 in your need. Had you done it by 64, you wouldn't be able to get your 72 networks, so you'd only be able to get 64, um, 64 of them. Okay? So just remember that equal to or greater than when you're doing that. Count how many bits are to the right of the number, and that's what you need. I hope you found that simple enough. As I say, it's just a very quick video to try to get you into the premise of subnetting. 